Welcome back to another reaction and ting and ting and ting. I'm Mr. Giant. And uh, in the comment section, someone said that there was a uh, one of the uh, Canada Heritage Minutes that was not on the uh, series of them that I watched. This one is called The Lost Heritage Minute. Lester B. Pearson. Now, why was it omitted? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here and thing, but we, I'm going to watch it. Cold turkey to see what's going on and thing, all right? So let's go ahead and YouTube and sim simmer and see what I'll go on here. Force was designed by a Canadian, Lester Pearson. In 1957, for his dream that soldiers could make peace instead of war, he received the Nobel Prize. Okay, that's interesting. Now, uh, uh, somebody has got to explain to me why this one is called a Lost Heritage Minute. Uh, seems like there's some kind of a conflict going on. And uh, here comes the... Uh, peacekeeping force that type person to you know stop it and uh, apparently from what I've learned here or seen in this short video is that uh, Mr. Pearson here had uh, created the uh, peacekeeping force which is really cool which he thinks that uh, soldiers should bring forth peace uh, which is a good idea you know what I mean they should bring forth peace and uh, speaking of peace and thing like that, you know, nobody's talking about peace anymore. You watch the political uh, climate, which of course filtered down into the population, where everybody's just talking war, war, war. It's war on this, war on that, war on the other. So nobody's talking peace anymore. You know what I mean? You don't, excuse me, you don't even hear much about the uh, peacekeeping forces anymore. See, I do my own sort of paying attention to things. And it seems like peace doesn't seem to be an option. Well, well, let me take that back. Peace is an option. However, it's peace according to the person who is screaming peace is worldview. It's not peace the way everybody enjoys the peace. One group or the other wants to control what the peace is by implementing their own religious beliefs or their own political beliefs or, you know, whatever beliefs they have and that they think would serve everybody without taking into consideration that everybody is different. Even if you're not from a different culture, within one culture, people are still different. They still have different views of uh, the world, different views of life and how it should be lived. You know what I'm saying and thing? But the idea that soldiers should bring peace, man, that's a beautiful thing. If only it was like that, you know? A force moving and they bring peace. But then when soldiers move in, they bring ideology more than they bring peace because they're not taking into consideration that, hey, this is a different culture. We have to work with that culture. Instead, they try to make those people become like them and possibly abandon the culture. But there's always people fighting against that. So then they didn't bring any peace because what they brought was uh, confusion and, and even more conflict because within that culture, there's going to be people who will fight against each other who believe that the person that's coming in is right and then there's those who are probably, you might call, nationalistic 
but they want to keep this tradition and the cultures intact and those two sections fight against each other i call that conquer and rule really man i hope you guys are having a good day today is mother's day you know what i mean i'll tell you what if your mother is still alive make the moments with her longer because before you know it man life passes you by and they're gone and there are things you haven't gotten to discuss with them and in some cases like in mine <coughs> you never really get to say goodbye so if you're sitting there with your mom pay attention man ain't gonna be around forever and of course you know that and that might sound cliche but you know some of us are living that all right listen take care of each other all right cool runnings